Hi everybody, it's Julie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a tuck and fold card. Pretty easy and quick, but really fun. And you don't need anything special to do this. But I call it a tuck and fold because fold and tuck does not sound very graceful. So <laughs> I think tuck and fold just sounds more sophisticated. So now I'm going to take a piece of cardstock I've already trimmed to five and a half inches wide by 11 inches long. I'm going to score at three inches from the short end and then I'll score four and a quarter inches from the first score line. And then I'm going to take this whole thing and rotate it back to a vertical position and mark a half inch line with my pencil very lightly just above the first three inch score line that I made. And now I'm going to position my die here with the cut edges going past the pencil line and then I'm going to use a piece of washi tape to hold it in place and show me a better visual on where that pencil line is. And the reason for that is I need to line my cutting pad uh, right there against that pencil line so it doesn't go any further. I don't want to have any pressure on the very uh, extreme edge of that die because I want these letters to remain attached. I don't want them to cut completely out. So here's how you can see um, exactly what I'm talking about. So this is going to give me that tuck piece to fold underneath. So now I'm going to erase the pencil lines and then just fold the back side of the card towards the center and then the front side of the card towards the center. So this is actually a tri-fold. I'm going to crease those fold lines there with my Teflon bone folder. And here you can see um, the beginning of my tuck piece here. Now I need to make sure that that back piece has been trimmed off enough that it will tuck underneath those letters without buckling. So I've just used the grid here on my work surface to make a little mark on that so I know how much to trim off. And this is why I always start with 11 inches in length for this and then trim off as I need because you never know if you're going to perfectly place that die um, in the right spot every time or maybe you want to use something else that's not as tall or a different shape or whatever but you got some fudge room there with that 11 inch length. So now I'm going to pop this into the Misty and I'm going to grab the stamps that are heart shaped from the Big Love set and I'm going to use several different colors of Catherine Pooler and Concord and Ninth ink and I'm just going to stamp all these hearts and I'm starting with the largest first and then I will clean off my stamps uh, in between ink colors if I need to change ink colors with any of those images. That's my background. And then I'm going to take some glue. I already die cut those letters out of some really bright colors of cardstock that look great together. And then I glued those letters onto the corresponding letters there on the base card. And that's all there is to it. Now you can tuck your background there right under those letters and it's super easy and super fun. I hope you'll give it a try. And that color scheme is to die for. I love it. Thanks for watching.